Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and I create mod tutorials for The Sims 4. Today we are starting our 2025 tutorial series and for today's video we're going to dive into the best programs and tools to use for creating mods in The Sims 4. For. for the next couple of videos I will recreate my old videos because most of them aren't useful anymore because the mod constructor is currently obsolete which means it doesn't get updated and therefore any like tutorial I had about uh, the mod constructor is therefore not useful anymore but don't worry today we are going to go over a program that is also very beginner friendly. As always if you are stuck or need help then let me know in the comments down below or you can join my discord and just ask any question over there. Now let's dive into it and let's get modding. The first program I'm showing you guys is of course the good old Sims 4 Studio. This is still the best program to create mods in. Um, it's very easy and simple once you start to understand the, um, certain things of modding. Um, it's very user friendly and also this is the only program where you can create and mods and CC and it's just one of the best programs out there. If you don't know anything about The Sims 4 Studio and you are new with The Sims 4 Studio then please check out any of my previous videos where I explain tools and programs to use for modding because everything about The Sims 4 Studio is still accurate, it's still the same, nothing has changed over the years. It's a great program to use for modding. The next program I really, really recommend is the XML injector. So what does the XML injector do? Why do we need it? Why does actually a lot of mods use it? Now, XML injector does most of the scripting for you as in the most common ones like interactions, for example, um, sometimes traits, um, but yeah, definitely a tool to love. So you can download the modder documentation but if you aren't really understanding it still I have a tutorial up on my channel so check that one out. I will link it down below. Now for the last tool we have the TDSC Builder by Lot51 which honestly this this program has saved me so much time like so much time. Um, I discovered it when I was creating a Road to Wealth mod and honestly this I, I, I can't live without it. So what I love about this program is that we can just look up anything that is in game like really quickly like any of the tuning I have to word it correctly <laughs> any of the tuning in game so we can just look it up really quickly and um, if we wanted it we could import it and edit it or we could just import it and as you can see it just shows up here like this is uh, the whole which one did I pick? I don't even know what I picked. <laughs> the tattoo design um, when it's complete. So this is a loot that will show up when tattooing completes in game and as you can see this is just what happens um, and then all you can really do is just look up like oh my god like what else can we add to this? It's, it's a whole thing but I love this program and um, we can also create mods in here um, so you can open a package or uh, have a look at some images or have a look at the text. There's just so much you can do with this program and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I might do like a full-on close-up tutorial about this program if anyone is interested. So let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, definitely have a look at it, play around, check out the settings, check out anything. Um, it is always updated. Like as you can see over here, we got the new businesses and hobbies tunings in here, which is great and I love it. Um, so yeah, that was it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to see more of these type of videos, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if this video was helpful. Also, don't forget to join my Discord if you need help with anything modding related, or if you just wanna be there to chat and are interested in my own mods, um, you can always see there if they are updated or anything. That was it and I'll see you next time. See ya.